Hello everybody, my name is Skookum. Thanks for joining me for another video. I really should get rid of these torches, shouldn't I? And I think I also... Yeah, I need to finish putting half slabs there. Ah, there's always work to be done, isn't there? But I've brought our friendly mobs down here. Our cows from over there by our base entrance. And our sheep. Some sheep I found. Found some sheep. Haven't gotten any pigs yet. <laughs> Who needs pigs, though? They're not good for anything. Good for bacon. That's it. <laughs> um, yep, plenty of chickens here. Let's see if I can harvest some of their eggs. I've also noticed quite a bit that... Uh, if you chuck eggs at this wall, or I think any wall, I think... The chickens that spawn sometimes have a chance to spawn on the other side of the wall. So I'll get chickens in the sheep pen all the time. So I, th I guess I'm going to start throwing them here at this glass. Let's see if they pop through at all. Yeah. So, let me figure out what I'm going to do for this episode. <laughs> I have no clue. We'll do something. Something fun. So I have a slight issue with this sugarcane garden here, this little zen garden we built in the last episode. It was kind of random, but I didn't want to just spend the whole last episode in one single room. So I just decided to come here and build this. I want to I want to have it lit up a little bit somehow. Maybe I'll put some lamps in there somewhere. I'm not sure where though. But an issue I'm having is I want another lamp here okay and you can see there's water there um, I don't know what to do because I need that water source block here so that that can grow right and I can't put a torch here I don't know what to do I'm quite sure yeah if I put dirt here that will die for sure in time maybe it won't oh yeah uh, it looks weird anyways I don't know what to do with this thing and like should I make the whole thing out of fence fences some fences here. The reason why I didn't connect it all the way down is because these are half slabs and it wouldn't connect anyways. So I thought it would look better if it was up to there. I don't know. I'll have to leave it for now. Oh. If I put this torch there, it'll update it, won't it? <laughs> Really? Wow, that's pretty interesting. Hmm. <laughs> okay, then. Maybe I'll put one here, too. I might have to do the same thing. I don't even know how that just happened. Today in this episode... Oh, that was quite a ramble about that. <laughs> I feel like going to check out some villagers. I want to find a librarian and see if I can get some name tags. I want to find a librarian that sells name tags. We might have to do quite a bit of trading because I think that's sort of a higher unlock for villagers. Um, yeah, mainly because I want to name our horse cow in our stables. Our cow horse. So, uh, let's see if we can get that done today. I just realized why that happened. Because I accidentally dug another hole down. You guys probably saw that. <laughs> um, if there's a hole below it, it wants to. It won't flow this way. I guess. So that's how you do that. <laughs> but again, it looks weird. I don't know about that. Either way, to the village. Oh yeah, I also fixed this. Got this working. 
just I don't really know how I feel about the green part of the sticky pistons. I don't know. What do you guys think? Here. I brought as much paper as I had, which wasn't a lot. I brought some emeralds and some leather, if we find a leather worker. I think this is a cleric, yep. Zombie flesh. Gold. Weaponsmith. Are there any librarians? You're a butcher, I think. Yep. Now that we have a decent amount of cow, I mean, that wouldn't be too bad. 14 is a lot, though. Seems like a lot. Okay, here's a leather worker. Might be able to get saddles, which is useful, but we have a few already. There's no librarian. I didn't think there was. I didn't see one the last time I was here. Unless he hides. Might be in here. You're a butcher, right? Oh, you're a leather worker. <clears throat> I don't know. I guess we should go to the other village then. I've also changed some settings in my recording software. And... There it is. I made it so that... The overall quality, or high movement quality would be better. And actually what it's done is it made it so that I get much higher FPS, or at least it seems. I'm still at 60, but things should look better and it's going to run for me better, so that's always a plus. We have a couple librarians here, I think. Unless you're like a doctor or something. <laughs> I don't think they have those in this game. Okay, fire protection, too. Hmm. 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 Bane of arthropods. You're a leather worker. Oh. There's three in this village at least. Hey. Aqua affinity. That's pretty tempting. I don't have any books on me though. I could make one. We might go with this guy. See, one of these three is going to have a name tag trait. I would, oh, blast protection. This guy's, is there four in this village? One, two, was there, three. So this is the village to go to for librarians, I guess. Maybe someday we could take one back to our, to our base. Sharpness three. Are these guys all different or am I just not paying attention? Sharpness 3. Aqua Affinity. We saw him. Okay, don't go anywhere. 3, 4. He was the blast protection. Bane of Arthropods and... Fire protection. So, there's five librarians in this village. Just which one do we go with? I don't have that much paper. Might have to come back. Lure 3! Is this different, like, every time, or am I just seeing more? <laughs> so that's 6 now that we've seen, I think. I need to get a vantage point and... See how many there really are in this village. Let's go with the Aqua Affinity guy. For now. I don't even have 13 emeralds. Dang it. And he wants 29. Okay, let's, let's do this for now. Okay. Ten books for an emerald. Dang it. Let's try again. Oh god. Holy moly! That guy books! I think you're the same guy. 
Yep, that was all of his trades, I think. Dang. Okay, you are Aqua Affinity, right? Yep. I'm scared. We might have to come back. Compass. Bookshelf. Let's go with the bookshelf. Hmm. Is this the other? What the heck? Which one are you? <laughs> I'm not a fan of villager trading, really. <laughs> I just want some name tags. What do you got? Ah! What's up, man? What's up? Do I have any torches? I do not. Okay, 36 paper, which I do not have. Yeah, you're the lure guy. <sighs> Alright, I'll have to come back. Oh gosh, where's my horse? Oh no. Oh no! There you are. Let's get out of here. Oh gosh. Stop it. You guys need to do something. Learn how to survive. Come on, please. Okay. Oh gosh. Dang it. Dang it. Ow. What am I doing? Go away. Well, those guys are all screwed. I can't help them. There's like six librarians there. They're all gonna die. <laughs> if you guys remember when we were digging out this nether room here, we bumped into this cave and there was tons of mobs down there. I went ahead and lit it up. Actually, when I first came down here, I think I died about six or seven times in a row. And I had pretty decent armor on me. When I came down here and I had a diamond sword and everything. I died once and then a baby zombie uh, picked up my sword and some of my armor and then he killed me at least. Like I, I tried to gear up again but I couldn't really do much but I finally got it lit up. There's not a lot down here really. It pretty much ends there and there. I was hoping it would be a big expansive cave but not really. It is a cool open area though. It's big. So I'm kind of wondering what I should do down here. I thought about putting the nether room down here, but I don't know. It worked out better for it to be here. Speaking of this nether room, uh, I was messing around. I rebuilt most of this in a creative world. And I kind of figured out what I want to do in here. Sort of renovate it and finish it and make it look nice. Um, I'm happy with how it turned out. But, <laughs> funny enough, what I have to do is, I, I worked out a pattern on the floor, right? So I want to change this out. This will be, um, well, I wanted to make it more like this room. Sort of copy this theme. So I decided to use spruce wood, spruce and dark oak for the floor in here. And the floor pattern that I came up with is really cool. Uh, a way to light it. But to do that, to make the pattern work and the floor and everything else work, I have to move this entire back wall and everything in it back one block. <laughs> I think I counted wrong when I rebuilt it in the creative world. And then I'm like, yeah, this looks really good. And I came here and I'm like, you know, this room looks a little bit smaller. It turns out it is. It's wide enough just fine, but I have to move all that back one block. So I don't really want to waste this glass, right? So I want to see if I can get Silk Touch. And I just looked it up. 
Oh, I don't have any lapis. Yeah, I think I have some up here. A little bit. I just checked on the wiki, and Silk Touch, your probability of getting it is sort of maxed out at level 16 and beyond. So as long as you're level 16, you have the highest chance possible, which isn't really a good chance, but we can at least have a few attempts at it. Okay. I think we're just going to have to go ahead and... Yeah, take these smaller ones for now. The lesser of the enchantments. Until we get Silk Touch. My hopes aren't very high, but... Oops. Come on. Thorns. Another efficiency. Lure 3. I kind of want Lure 3, to be honest. Oh, and I can't take it now. <laughs> I'll take the fire protection. It's not looking good. Take that. Another efficiency. Maybe I'll just keep trying it off camera until I get it. So this is several hours later for me. Um, I have done so much enchanting on all kinds of tools. I actually went back to the village and tried to do more trading, <clears throat> hoping I could get a silk touch there. I didn't. And <laughs> so I figured I would just go ahead and make uh, new glass. I'll just have to waste the glass that's in here for now. Well, I mean, it'll be gone forever, so... <laughs> Oh well, but at least we'll be able to do something somewhat interesting in this episode and get some things done. <laughs> There's so much footage that I'm going to have to cut out. I'm like, yeah, this is going to be a long episode of just me trying to trade and enchant and all that. <clears throat> Far too boring. So I'll make it interesting for you guys and I'll renovate this nether room for you and we can check it out after I've got some progress done. So are you guys ready for another epic reveal? I am. Just put the finishing touches in this room. You guys can let me know what you think. It's n nothing too major, right? But I think it finishes every it finishes everything off really well, I think. Um I had to make quite a few design choices in this room. <laughs> like whether or not I wanted this nether brick to continue all the way around. It sort of looked too dark, I guess. It's cool because when you're entering from this way, you see just mostly the dark nether portal. So, it, like, it makes you think, you know, you're, you're going to a darker place. And then when you come out, it's like it's inviting you. It's telling you that this is, you know, it's the overworld. It's the nicer place. I, I really like this back wall. I love the way it looks. It's got like a, a very medieval look to it, right? But still looks clean and modern somehow. I like it. And this was the uh, floor pattern thing I was talking about. I mean, it's not a lot. It's nothing crazy. It's, it started out, I just needed some way to light the center of this room. I thought about maybe hanging a chandelier of some kind. I'm like, nah, that looks too busy. Too much going on. So this is like a clean, simple way to, uh, yeah, light the center of the room. So we won't have mobs spawning down here. Except for zombie pigmen, which I get all the time. They never seem to leave me alone. <laughs> but, yeah. It sort of copies the, uh, the theme of that room just a little bit. Spruce floor and, or dark oak floor with spruce trim. Looks alright. Also, um, I've sort of come up with an idea that I want up along here above our portal. Also we can 
start it here too. My plan is, see, I want to get as many beacons as possible soon. I'm going to start getting beacons. Um, so to do that, we have to fight withers. And sort of as like a trophy system to show off how many withers that we've fought in this world. I want to get a wither skull head, right? A wither head. Um, or No, I should say a wither skeleton skull head mob head <laughs> I want to get them uh, lined up up here so each one each wither that we kill will have a wither skeleton skull up there for each one and then we can have them displayed up there and maybe up there as well I think that would be co pretty cool I'd love to do that to have sort of like trophy system or, you know ways of displaying uh, things that we've killed it would be cool to have something up there I don't want to just do wither skeleton skulls everywhere. Yeah. But uh, we still have a few minutes in this episode. Let me figure out what I want to get done. <laughs> what we have time for. Okay, so for the last few minutes of this episode, I'm going to do something crazy. No. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to go caving for a little bit and try to talk to you guys about some things. Um, what was I going to do? But before we do that, I'm going to make a new pickaxe. I'm also going to make a new bow. I'm going to enchant both of them. I'm, the, I only, I'm only at level 20 right now, but we're going to see see what happens. How many lapis on me? Uh, let's see what this brings us to. Okay, we're at 8. 22 in the max. this do 10 power 2 see I always used to think that to do an enchantment you had to be level 30 or else you were wasting the levels but really you can get some pretty awesome enchantments I mean power 2 that's not bad really power 2 just power 2 and when you get more than one enchantment on a low level enchantment that's that's some good stuff right there Oh, we can do another one, can't we? It's more lapis. Efficiency 2. I got an effic efficiency 1 on that, and that was a pretty high enchantment. Unbreaking. You know what? We're going to do some caving. I'm going for the unbreaking. Why not? Also, I should show you guys these boots that I found. Actually, they were dropped by a skeleton, I believe. See, I only renamed them. All of these enchantments were on the boots when they dropped. Feather Falling 4, Protection 3, and Unbreaking 3. That's pretty good for leather boots. I just renamed them Cowhide Boots. Cowhide Booties. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. It was late at night. Um, yeah, so let's find a cave somewhere. Aha! Oh! Gosh darn it. Hi. Hello. How are you? Do you like the taste of power too? To the face? I guess not. That's kind of lame. I want to find an epic cave, but I think to do that I have to go far away. Where are you at, son? Oh, hi. You know, your friend didn't like power too so much. What about you? He can take it. Ooh, iron. Darn it. <laughs> okay, so speaking of iron, uh, I think I want to give a little bit of a spoiler for the next episode. I think it would be episode 8. I don't even know what episode this is. I think 7. I don't know. <laughs> um, so, spoiler for the next episode. 
Um, and I feel like I can do that because I would say like 90% of the people who watch these episodes probably don't make it past the five minute mark. <laughs> I would have to check the uh, YouTube analytics, but I just have a feeling everyone watches five minutes and like, yeah, okay, seen enough. <laughs> Leave. No, but okay, for the next episode, um, I want to gather up some iron because I was talking about a beacon before. I'm probably going to do some farming in the nether for wither skeleton skulls. This is unexplored. Uh, ah! <laughs> what? Was I here? I must have been here. Put some cobble there. Yeah, I'm going to try to get some wither skeleton skulls so I can kill a wither. So I can start a beacon. And I know I could. I think... I'm not sure. I'd have to look it up. I think you can mix iron blocks with gold blocks to form a beacon, right? And... Well, I don't really have that much gold anyways. And I don't really want to waste it. So I'm kind of just going to go for the iron route as much as I can. Try to do the whole beacon out of iron and I am gonna go for the nine by nine not the lesser of the beacon sizes I think I think you can do a seven by seven and five by five you could probably do a three by three as far as I know but I want maximum coverage I'm probably gonna set it up somewhere right in the center of our uh, I don't know somewhere probably that cave that's right by the nether room, a big open cave, I'll probably put it in there, um, just so we can get some haste, so we can get some things done quicker, I don't know if I want to put speed on it, or, oh, I see you, I totally see you, aha, boop, I got him, Yeah, so Beacon, probably in the next episode. What else was I going to talk about? Another plan, I don't know if I'll get to it in the next episode or not. But since I'm getting these caves lit up pretty well, like I've been doing a lot of caving off camera. Um, just in between episodes so I can get resources for like the upcoming episode. That's why I'm doing this now, because I'm doing this for the next episode, right? <laughs> um, so I've been doing a lot of caving all around. So I think our spawn rates are starting to get pretty low around the base, which is good. Which means we can have better spawn rates if I want to start... Ah! If I want to start a mob spawner. Wow. A mob spawner. <laughs> if I can pronounce it correctly. Um, God, and I keep saying um. I gotta stop doing that. <laughs> um... No. Uh. <clears throat> so, yeah. In the next episode, possibly start a mob spawner. I think I have a place where I want to put it. It would have to be a place where I've already lit up a lot of the caves. Is there any more? Those guys are everywhere, I tell you. Mainly because uh, I want to start a mob spawner because I want to get gunpowder. And, I mean, I guess bones are useful and zombie flesh for trading and it's all useful. But TNT is where it's at, right? Even though I don't know what I'm doing with TNT, <laughs> I fail at it every time I try to use it. Um, Oh, hello. <laughs> Creeper city. How much power? Do you need power 3 to uh, do instant kills on enemies? I had a bow like earlier in this episode when I started it, but I lost it since then. I died. <laughs> it's gone. I lost all my stuff. Um... 
I had a power three bow with flame on it. And I think it could it couldn't like instant kill, but it would do a lot of damage and then the flame itself would take care of the rest, I believe. That's what you want. I also had flame on a iron sword too. That's gone. See, I always seem to lose my stuff about every episode. <laughs> somehow or another, I fall in lava or a creeper kills me. Or I get lost and die somehow. Or starve to death. Oh well. Well, that's probably long enough for this episode. Like I said, I guarantee very the most like hardcore people, hardcore YouTube watchers <laughs> have made it this far. Which, I thank you. Like, if you made it this far, dude, you are hardcore. I hope that you have subscribed. Uh, you are awesome. Leave a comment. Let me know that you made it this far. <laughs> it's pretty uh, impressive, I guess. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I appreciate it. I appreciate all the likes and like support. Everybody always says that I've been doing a pretty good job at these episodes, and commentary's been good, and not too many complaints, as far as I can tell. So, I appreciate it. And again, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next episode.